Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a DIY project. A power supply. I think this one is a dual output power supply with push buttons. I mean, this is a very, very unique idea. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I think we got, like you can see here, the green output and the red output, right? So what I think we got is that will be the green and that will be the red output, right? And they got a common ground so it could it be a negative and a positive it could also be two different positives but i don't have a see i got positive and negative i mean probably they're positive right and then my idea is that you just click the different voltages and they are written up here reset i don't understand but that could be current Overload, so that means it's a fold back with probably a relay or something. We got variable, so it's probably the potentiometers. And then we got the meter. So that will be the the green or the red output, maybe. I don't know. There's probably a label missing, right? And then we can change the different voltage ranges. Volts or amps, maybe that is what it is. And then we've got a fixed output that is a 5 volt. Yeah, and we got the two potentiometers on off, which is a little bit. Yeah. It's definitely super duper homebrew. And from the look of this case, my best guess so far before we open it will be 1980. And then we'll open and we'll see, before I plug this in, oh, it's definitely heavy. Oh, yeah, we got some transistors here at the back. What is that? Okay. 3055s. And the, the other one is also a 3055. Probably got some outputs here in those two connectors. Yeah. I want to open it first and then we will see how far I am away from my little first guess. So we're inside. That was quite easy. I just had to remove the side and then slide out the top aluminium plate like that. <laughs> Look at that transformer. It's a very special slimy slim line here. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I, what did I expect? I, maybe a little bit something like this. But look at that prototyping board. The old, old type with really big distances. And um, yeah, it's all sorts of transistors and resistors and whatnot in one big mess. I mean, can you imagine... Figuring out what is what. <laughs> How cool is that? And then we got some capacitors mounted up here. Everything in this unit looks like it has been pulled out of something. So this is a reuse. And of course, this is what you did back in the 70s or 80s. You didn't have any money. And wanted to play with electronics or build all sorts of... Uh, cool products or whatever you wanted to do and then reused everything that would be the two variable volt settings we got some oh, i have to show you those voltage setup switches or oh, you're gonna love it so that will be the voltage setting trimmers look at that all the different voltages how do you access them and how you i don't know how to tree trim or something like that because you can't really get in there 
and um, the safe distance to um, so chassis is a good half a millimeter give or take it's barely touching and uh, that will be the mains entry and as you can imagine see the distance oh, I don't know if that it's just don't want to focus on exactly that point but that is also ah, that is a few millimeters that's gonna be okay I think it's a really funny slim transformer and all that wire mess and look at that the mains wire that is just a knot and then it's not gonna fall out if you pull it I don't know and wires yeah tape tape is good and green wires stiff stiff wires of course to all sorts of relays and whatnot <laughs> i mean i th i feel like we should just try and plug it in and see how much blows up here oh those circuit boards are just fascinating the way that everything here is mounted this is a little bit broken down there this is why it looks like that I totally love it. Yeah. But who made this one? And when? Why don't people write a little name and a year or anything on their product? Sometimes you can uh, find some date information inside these meters. But that is not the case with this one. I'm ready for the first power up. I added a little extra protection for my own safety. And the, yeah, two volt meters. And I think that we are ready. Mm, that goes real slow. <laughs> Let me see. We got 12 volts almost. So that will be the green output, right? And we well, already you know the red one is the one that delivers 12 volts. So let's try nine. And then it goes down to about nine. Okay, so the red one seems to be working. Uh, we also got a, an indicator here for the red. That is red. And then probably the voltage will change. Ah, look at that. Oops. So that is 12 again. Got a little bit of loose connections. But I mean, half of it seems, seems to be working. I don't know what to say about this push buttons thing. And then there's a huge delay for some reasons. Let's try the variable and see if that one works. So the idea is probably I... Yeah, okay, look at that. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, so there's a logarithmic. Look at that. So it's crazy up here and then not a lot down here. How funny. I think that is the first time I see a logarithmic for voltage settings. How funny is that? And then you can go off. No. What is that then? Reset. Ah, oh, if I push. Still haven't figured out how to get any kind of volts out on the green one. Let's try and uh, see what happens over here. Maybe that that's uh, completely floating. Nope. We got no, no nothing. All I had to do was massage the switches a little bit. It seems like that 5 volt output is also somehow see and then this lamp turns on and off see 
<laughs> oh, this is just the weirdest power supply to be working with. Of course, one of the outputs is not working, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to say. I think it's fun to see that somebody came up with some really untraditional ideas. And uh, then you can, of course, try them and see if they work. See, now that output just turned off. And then, then what? Why are you? I haven't figured out what exactly happens. Well, it's, of course, uh, far from perfect. Um, and I'm really not going to repair it a lot. Probably I'm going to look a little bit deeper into the circuit boards. But that is going to be what I want to do with that one. I just want to have a little laugh. Is this... What? What What just happened? So, down here. Now it turns on. So that was the problem. Aha, that switch is definitely broken. Main switch is definitely... Caput. So this is inside the right side of the unit. I took off the side plate so we can see a little bit better how this is made. Holy moly. What a wire confusion. <laughs> I don't know. And look at the mounting. What happened here? So that is a little piece of aluminium oh, on the back side. So that is how it's done. Well, well, I'm not super impressed, but of course it depends who made this and when. I still haven't figured that out yet. I don't see any date codes or anything like that, but by looking at the different components, uh, I mean, it's maybe even before 1980. This this could easily be 1975. So, also this type of capacitor here. That is, uh, yeah, this is all quite old style. And look at the pins on the re rectifier bridge. They're just left here. And stiff wires, I mean, that is just the worst idea ever. When you pull around with this and uh, do all sorts of adjustments and whatnot, you're going to break things and uh, yeah, have all sorts of problems. <laughs> I think I will pack this back. I mean, I'm not going to to repair it or anything like that, but that was definitely a lot of fun looking at this homebrew kind of it's also always funny to evaluate people's skills when it comes to the round holes around the the meters see there's even a nut missing down there but the round hole here is quite round to be honest that is not the worst i have seen and also look at all the all the holes here at the at the front for all those uh, switches. You can imagine that is a lot of cutting and filing, and it's not the worst I have seen. This is not easy because you can imagine it's really really revealing this type of design decision here. The holes, however, however, for all these connectors, they're not super straight. <laughs> Certainly not that one. Oi, oi, oi. Anyway, I will put this back where it, come, where it came from. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a little bit of fun. You can probably imagine showing off one of your first prototypes of whatever kind of electronics you did i mean was that a lot better <sighs> probably not really